All right, let's go and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're picking up where we left off in our last episode of our Grim Dawn series. In our last episode, we actually made it to the town of Barrow Home. Uh, basically, went around the outskirts, killing all the cannibals, delving into a mine. All this to appease the folks of Barrow Home, who seem to be cannibals in their own right and worshiping a Wendigo god. Uh, while assisting them, while also underhandedly going against their plans without telling them, lying to their faces essentially, we managed to get back the Coven of Witches fetish that they were looking for and give that to them. And in restoring the fetish to them, the leader of the Coven of Witches managed to also give us a, uh, basically inscribe something that belonged to Ulgrim, his keepsake, and it allow us to use this place right here. This is the Altar of Ratash. Uh, it's going to allow us to pierce the veil and travel in between worlds essentially i guess more or less and hopefully this is going to lead us closer to freeing old grim for wherever he's at now you said if you like the content you want to see more grim Dawn, like subscribe and comment down below about uh you know how you doing let's do this uh this must be the altar garadia spoke of it emanates with dark power the veil between realities truly is thin here with old grim's keepsake you should be able to use the altar's power to determine this, his location within the world so let's go ahead and use his this thing right here and it looks like we need to go ahead and just click on this and we will be transported to wherever oh and now we're in like a chthonian rift all right well we're more than familiar with chthonian rifts Ooh, hello, a legendary amulet. Uh, not one that I plan on using, but still, we're starting to find more purple shit. I like finding purple shit. If only we could find the purple shit that would benefit us. Why can't I hit that? Oh. There's a blockade in there, that's why. We're halfway to 58, which is also very exciting for me too, because there's so many things that we couldn't equip until we hit 58. We'll even be able to get uh, like a better weapon we can craft one. I don't know if it's how much better it is than the spark thrower, but we'll see. It might not even be better than the spark thrower, who knows? Be kind of sad if it's not, honestly. Alright, so that's a rift. That looks like a place that we need to go. So we'll go everywhere but there. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was a chest. Oh, we'll make our way around. Definitely make sure that we check all these areas out. I don't know if any of these rift areas are returnable to, but I don't know if there's any shrines in here either, but obviously we want to make sure that if there are shrines in here, we tap them. Stormcaller's effigy. Mm. It'd be really good if we were doing one-handed stuff. Eventually, one day, but not for the but not for the moment. for us it doesn't look like this area is super large and we've uncovered most of it yeah that's everything 
cool. Onward to the next area. Void's Edge. We've been in an area that looks somewhat like this. It was called, uh, I jumped in one of these and then ended up someone called the Obsidian Throne to kill another mob. So it's like a zone inside of a zone. Oh shit, hello. All right, he's dead. We're good. We should really check the vendors. Once we get out of all these, it'll move on to the next area. Just because I feel like I've been raising reputation up for a while now. I know we did the Witch's Coven. Um, they're definitely... We got to the next level of them. But Homestead? We've gotten a lot of reputation with Homestead just naturally questing. So I'm curious to know if we teared up at all of them. Jesus Christ, 68,000? That's nice. What is that? Well, those guys are dead. Did they get to do anything? I don't even know if those guys get to do anything. Okay, he looks serious. I can't do that yet. Yep. Oh, well. Apparently we just did a thing. That was very serious music for, <laughs> for something I wasn't even entirely sure that I did. Uh, I want to check out the rest of this area before we leave. Apparently we did something pretty awesome there. Didn't really say... Oh, hello. Who's, oh, is that Olgrim? It's Olgrim. Is that hello. You, mother? I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't make it to dinner. I'm just so tired. Too. Snap out of it, Olgrim. As you command. My emperor, your son, lives. I made certain of it. He is safe in a secure location, of which only I know. Your emperor commands you to stand. Wait. My mind is clearing of some haze. You're not the emperor. You Ulgrim, you're in the void. Imposter. Why are you lying the void? That's ridiculous. Nothing living survives in the void. Are you an agent of Cthon here to lure me into a trap? I'll have you know I am well experienced in the art of murder. I'm your friend. I'm here to help you. Yes. Yes. I think I remember now. The void. It clouds my mind. It fills my every waking thought with horrors beyond imagination. But if you're here too... How will we get out? We'll take the void to Malmoth. To Malmoth. Last I passed through there, it had fallen to the Ethereals, and it wasn't a pretty sight. But if you need to get there, then there must be a good reason. Though I can't say I understand why you risked coming for me, if that's the priority. Not that I don't appreciate it. We're cut off by the Aether Fire. The only way is through the void. I see. Then the only way forward is deeper. I'm afraid I'm thoroughly spent and won't be much use to you in a fight. If we're going to get out of here, you will need to clear a path. Don't worry about me. I will join you through the shadows. Gods know there's plenty of those here. I'll find us a way out. All right, well, at least we found our buddy, Ogrim. So let's see if we can find our way out through here. 
We're much stronger than we used to be, so we should have no problem getting through a lot of these enemies. I don't know who that guy thought he was trying to square up on me. <laughs> I love it when they explode. Yes! I love it even better when I level up. Now we just gotta find a way to make sure that we have the amount of cunning we need in order to uh, equip that gun. That should be most everybody. We should be coming on an exit soon. I mean, we delve in here pretty hard. Be a, it's a nice summoning circle. It'd be a shame if someone destroyed it. And there's our way out. I'm not gonna try to stick around here much longer. It doesn't think there's a lot of stuff to do there. It's good to see the sun again. And I have you to thank for it. We have to keep moving. You're right, of course. But you have to fill me in. Why are you trying to get into ethereal territory? A survivor from Malmouth warned us of something awful. Oh, great. Well, the unpleasantness in the void is behind us. It seems we're stepping right into another. This area has changed since I've last seen it. You know this place? To the north is Malma. Of that, I am sure. But it seems we're not the only ones with sights set upon the fallen city. What remains of the cult of Cathan is thick here, battling with our mutual enemy for control over the city outskirts. I'm afraid I see no choice but to wade into that battlefield and carve a path to the city gates. With the Ethereals entrenched here, I am certain there's another rift gate around. Find it, secure it, and I will join you. I'm on it. Wait here. All right, so it looks like we're on our own a little bit longer until we find another rift gate. Actually, is this a rift gate right here behind us? Okay, it is. All right, so we're in Lone Watch. We're made a decent tentata here. What I would like to do is, let's go back to Coven's Refuge. I want to see what our recipes are looking like. And see what if we can gear ourselves up a little bit better. So, uh, go over here to the Coven lady. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. So we should be respected now. So that gives us access to a couple of things here. Specter, gluttony, hysteria, fortitude, fervor. I'm going to go ahead and just that way and then uh these can all be equipped at 65 so we're still ways off from being able to equip that uh but still cool gear i might have to i mean 
whenever we get around to being able to wear this. And we're not that far off. Seven levels? Seven levels ain't bad. Uh, so that's where we're sitting out with them. So I'm going to see you around. learn all these recipes. I guess I can't learn that. Maybe I've already learned it. Um, what is that? Ethereal Missive. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, we can swap these. There we go. Yeah. We'll move back to this one. Uh, what else do we have that we can equip? We had... This... Yeah. Yeah, see? Um... There we go. My phone went off. Okay, so we're still good there. Um, Spell Sage Boots. Spirit. Elemental Resistances. Yeah, these boots are really not bad. Uh, let's see. What else we got? What else we got? We got a, a circlet. Plus 42 on spirit. Elemental resistance. Um, I think this is actually probably a fairly decent chunk of damage. Let's see. I don't know. There are ways higher there. That's 40,385. 39,780 for equipping that. So I guess it's not as upgraded as I thought. Uh, empowered Cerulean Shard. This is definitely a better amulet. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Well, that's definitely not what we're going to be using. Um. Nope. Helmet. No bueno. Did we put anything in our box for level 15? Got something you need stashed? I don't think I did, but... I mean, okay, yeah, we did put these eastern robes in there. I don't think I had anything else that was level 58 that was going to help us. I am going to go ahead and put that over there. Divine Flame, we should probably keep that. That's going to get sold. I'm going to hold on to this right here, just in case we decide to go one-handed gun sometime soon. Everything else looks like it's going to be sold. I'll hold on to that for you. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. What was I saying I was going to keep a hold of? It was... Did I just sell what I was going to keep a hold of? No. Oh, I, I put it in the bank. That's what it was. Uh, I was wondering where it went in my inventory. Uh, that gets sold. I'm going to keep that ruby for something else. Put it to good use. And, uh... Is there a blacksmith in this town? It's an illusionist. Another spirit guide. Alright, I'm gonna go back to Devil's Crossing now. And I'm gonna look at 
seeing if we, uh, what this weapon looks like that we're about to build. Stat-wise, anyways. So, let's see what we can do. Scrap metal. So we need 419 coming, cunning, and we're at 334. That's okay. I think we can make that happen. But we need to make silver core bolts, hell's bane ammo, and sanctified bones. Can we do that? Silver, let's see. Silver core, hell's bane. Do I have silver core? We don't have silver core. Oh, yes, we do. We need imbued silver. Can we make imbued silver? There we go. And 12 aether shards. Are there more aether shards in here? Safe storage. No questions. Oh, it's taken a it was taken into consideration what I had in my box. Nice. Okay, that's good. I do the best I can. So what does that need? We need four more. Sat down. Alright, and then what else is needed? A sanctified bone. don't know anything about sanctified bone wonder where we'll learn that at essence of grim dawn legendary amulet when do we get this uh i mean not that we're it's cool that we have that Oh, well, well, it looks like we're a little bit off from being able to create the old jacks. Spectral Arbalist. So we also needed that weapon specifically. The one I want, I believe, is the Desolation. And we still need to be able to get Squall, so we still don't have that one. The other one we saw was a Mythic Relic, I believe. And that needs Arbiter and Runestone. Transcendent Relic. Sanctuary and ballistic plating. So we can make that actually. Do we have the stuff to make ballistic plating? Doesn't look like it. So we're missing a whole bunch of like different ingredients that we can use to make this stuff. Which is kind of a sucky. But it's whatever. Let's see, uh. Come see what's left of what wears. So silver core bolts, we already have that one. Focusing prison, rotten heart. Um, so none of these outright do what we need them to do. Let's check the crossroads. Put it to good use. Not crossroads, homestead. Because Homestead is going to give us more options. And of course, after we check Homestead, we can also check, um, what should we call it? The, uh, Kai's, uh, Kaiman's Chosen as well. Come see what's left of my wares. So there's fervor, sanct oh, sanctified bone. Spine carapace. 
think it, yeah oh, okay so there is places where you to see if you already learned it so we did how much is this 88,000 I'll take it Is there a better lightning themed one here? Oh, there is. Oh, wait. Applies to two handed weapons. Oh, you can put this on the weapon. Oh, so there's no reason for me to buy all this. At least it's bought now. Where do we get the next level? Okay, so there's all that. Good use. Let's go check the Black Legion vendor over here. I'll give you a good price on what I've got left. So we're still just respected with them. What comes to the next level? Nothing super cool. Well spent. Can you put this on a weapon that's also enchanted? Oh, so you can. Oh, so you can like double up on the damage too. That's awesome. Okay. I like that powder. We're going to be using that one in a while. All right. Uh, we've also got all the stuff to... I think we got all the stuff to, to make the the gun. We just need a spectral arbalist. Anybody got a spectral arbalist on you? Uh, let's see if we can buy a spectral arbalist from somebody. Uh, we're going to be checking inventories for everybody, vendor all around, to see if we can even get it. So no spectral arbalist on this guy. Can I? I wish I could just like. Oh, there's a way to get down right here. See anything you like? So this guy doesn't say any ranged weapons. What a terrible vendor. Oh, Kaiman's chosen is right here. Hey, we don't have to go all the way to them. Chosen Balter. Oh well, well at least they have some of the stuff we need. So you can apply these to That's cool. I didn't even pay attention to that. That's awesome. So I can still enchant these. That's what I just picked up on. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and learn Sanctified Bone. So now we can do that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this guy right now. Let's go to Devil's Crossing in the Covens. Let's see if anybody has a Arbalist to sell. I really desperately want to make the Oldalax just because it looks like it'll be a major upgrade if we grab it. See anything you like. None of these are the Arbalists that I need. Oh well. Put it to good use. Come see what's left of my wares. Put it to good use. Uh, and it doesn't look like we have any other vendors here, huh? There's the salvage dealer and the quartermaster over there. That's fine. 
We can go to Coven's. I suppose we could also go to Fort Icon. We might check that out after. Check out Coven since the vendor's right here. See anything you like? I s so, you know, I'm, I'm also wondering, does it have to be specifically the arbalist? See you around. Did I save anything I'll in here? Your stash safe. Like, could I? Can I use any herbalist? It's I wonder. Safe with me. Promise. That sounds really dumb, though, right? Um, put a four icon. Check that out real quick. See anything you like? Hey, he sells a Spectral Arbalist. Specifically the one I needed. Safe storage, no questions. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can go ahead and make this thing. We still gotta make the Sanctified Bone. But we now have the recipe for it, so that's great. For purified salt. The hell? It has to be a green. That's ridiculous. Oh man, we're so close to having the thing we want. Oh well. That friggin' sucks. That is like, I got. They just fucking spit in my eye with that one. That's ridiculous. But whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> what kind of horse shit is that? They dangled a carrot in front of my eyes and like, wrong color carrot, you bitch. Alright, let's make our way further into the content. At least, we hung around way too much trying to do that. But I mean, we made a decent dent there in the, the beginning, uh, getting Ulgrim and pushing on. But the good news is we still got a fairly sizable power up uh, finding out that we can uh, enchant weapons that already have like mods on them. Which I'm a fan of. Uh, 
Oh, we're going down. Got it. I'm going to try to be more consistent about keeping my tornadoes in play. Because they do elemental shred, or resistance shred. Can't do that yet. So we're officially in Morndell. Which I believe is the, the area right before we get to Malmoth. That skill's not ready. We'll do what we basically do with every area. I can't do that. Wiping the floor with everything right here. A lot of dead bodies there. Feels like that's the right way to go, therefore it's the wrong way to go. Also a fairly massive area just running around in a circle. I feel like it's a fairly large circle we've been running in. A shrine. I almost didn't see that. How do we get over there? What the hell is that? 
Ethereal Sentinel? I think it's our first time seeing that. Aether Cluster? Alright then. I uh, can't make it through that wall, so it looks like we're going around. We managed to get those guys downstairs. though we're actually getting back into the thick of things we're on the outskirts of Malmeth which means we're gonna be in the big city not too long from now my only question is after the expansion are they uh, is crate looking to make a Grim Dawn 2 because at this point in time I'm already on board My, where's my shrine? Oh, there it is. It wasn't on the mini map for a second. Aether shard. Oh, well, it's easy enough to do. Matter of fact, I think it's even easier now that we got aether clusters because we can break those down into shards. devotion point because that's going to give us extra lightning damage and then you know hand of Ultos, uh, Ultos is coming up soon as well and that's going to be a fairly gnarly amount of damage going out just need one more shrine to activate that looks like we can't hit those guys yet And we're hitting these crits enough to where I feel like we're going to get a nice little bonus out of having that shrine. I guess after that we have to figure out what we want next as far as constellations go. Oh, 
Uh oh. Ah, I dropped a portal. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm getting better at that. Get the XP back. I don't like the fact that person was teleporting around all over the trying to get in my shit. Shrapnel pistol? Eh. Where's my thingy at? Oh, there it is. I was like, trying to figure out why I couldn't move. I was frozen. I see. I see that now. I don't think I have a couple of chances now to think about. There's some gear I have on that's not modded. The wooden door. Where's this gonna take us? Take us back upstairs. I don't want to be here yet. Yeah, go back downstairs. There's a whole bunch of this burning cellar we haven't uncovered yet. What's this, by the way? A slope. Oh, okay. I'm willing to stick with where we were at originally, making our way down the street. Just because I want to walk back through here and make sure we don't miss any corners. I didn't think there was any shrine in here. I didn't see anything that said there was no markings or whatever, but XP. There's a nice little chest back here, too. Cool. Uh, any chests in here? Nope. Alright, we'll head back up the top side. And, um... Honestly, we still have a lot of this area down here we need to uncover. I kind of want to go back and walk through the rest of the area. But I've kind of pressed on a bit. On my own. I was just trying to go around the, you know, the back side of the map. Or at least, you know, like trace it out essentially but the good news is we are near a rift portal it looks like and we can just hit this There's Olgrim. Well, here we are, Malma, the center of industry in the north. 
Or it was before it all went down the slip hole. Would have been far too much luck to have the bridge down and waiting for us. What do we do now? Not to worry. There's an old sewer outlet not far from here, just down to the west by the river. It was a popular route for smugglers bringing contraband in and out of the Candle District. Now it will serve as our way in. No royal carpet for us. With any luck, we'll run into some of these survivors you spoke of. Take the lead. I'm on it. Little did he know I wasn't actually on it because uh, we're going to take a slight detour. It's going to make me pick up all the stuff to access the portal, huh? And I'm actually, instead of going to go in there, we're going to head back to Lone Watch so we can explore more of Morndale. Because there's a lot unexplored here in Morndale. And probably what I'll end up doing after we complete the Ashes of Malmuth DLC expansion, whatever you want to call it, is I'm probably going to go out of my way and look up some guides to make sure I can find pretty much all the Devotion Shrines to make sure we have every single one of them uh, not found. Because I would like to have more of my constellations filled out. And I know there are still quite a bit of the constellations that I do not have. How many do I have now? So I have 32 and there are 55 left. And I don't think Forgotten Gods has any Devotion Shrines. So I'm, as of right now, I'm still like 18, 23 shine, uh, shrine sort, something like that. Which, I'm gonna be honest, I'm sure I'll find another shrine or two on my way to the end of this expansion, but I don't think there's any way that I'm gonna find 23 in this last little bit. So we've definitely missed some. And that's kind of a bummer. So the good thing for us is based off the way I'm routing, it looks like there's just the middle portion left in this area. fire okay so we've circled around most of this looks like we have some of this portion over here middle of the map there so maybe some areas over here just south of where that is oh so we don't really have much uncovered or much left to uncover which is good news but based off this walking You reached hated status of the Chthonians. Can you reach liked status of the Chthonians? I, I don't know. I mean, I suppose you could be like super bad guy. I can't do that. Do some zigzag motions here. Hey, we have a Chthonian Rift. And a treasure chest. Of course, I'm going to take that Rift.
deal additional aether damage. Yeah, it's whatever. Do whatever you think you must. That guy is beefy looking. Oh, he's beefy looking, but he died. Not super beefy looking. Dravis offering. Ooh, we're level 59. Nice. That guy's dead. Nice. Got a lot of heroic in here so far. Like three, uh, two of the three mob packs we've located have had a heroic monster in there. There's our way out. Nothing in here. Need to focus that guy on the right side. Soul Shard. Let's go and pick that up. Who is he playing hide and seek from? Infernal Obsidian Bulwark. We don't do shields. Or I don't do shields. Not right now. Baldur's armor. Ooh, hello. I'm gonna save that for somebody for later. I like Baldur. I mean, not the same spelling, but I have to assume it had been something similar. and then we head down. Yeah. Oh, there's even an exit right here in the middle. So we don't have to head down. So it leads further down. I'm gonna go with that. Not too bad. I'm trying to be wary because I know in these areas we can tend to be one shot if we're not being careful. I don't know what you're doing here, but you need to leave now. It approaches. What's happening? Luna of Algoth, the steward of darkness, our tormentor. I can feel it approaching. Leave now or join our fate. I can deal with it. Oh no. Luna of Algoth. Kind of a bitch.
Gerald Luna of Algas, girdle of spines. I'm gonna take his girdle. By the gods, I thought you were doomed and you just destroyed that creature. Please spare us this torment, let us out. Aren't you bloodsworn? Why should I help you? I understand that the cult has caused much harm across Cairn in recent months, but you have to understand we were desperate. We joined the cult because it offered safety, not because we believed in all this blood and Cthulhu madness. We were not even involved with the necropolis. You have to believe me. I beg you, destroy the ruined crystal nearby and let us out. I swear we'll burn these robes and try to do something worthwhile with our second chance, assuming we even make it out of the void alive. All right. Oh, that one. I hope you learned from this. All right, so we'll leave them at our own devices and let's get out of here. And from there, oh, we can head right a little bit, and uh, we can still head south and check out that area a little bit as well. Anything gained from going through all this aether fire? Uh, not really. Doesn't look like there's much in this corner either. And there wasn't. Luckily for us, uh, yeah, there wasn't much more because uh, this episode I feel will be wrapping up soon. In the next episode will probably end up pushing further into Malmoth. I don't know how long Malmoth is going to be because it looks like it's separated into different districts and I don't know if there's like instanced areas for each one. But still, we just have a small portion of Morndale to discover. And we should be good. Unless there is a shrine area or another little instance dungeon in here. I think we are fairly decent. <laughs> that one guy went flying. He's got a number of things. Power Spellfire 1, the Sky Tear Hut. It's actually not a bad hat. We do have a section here. If we, if we do this section right here to the right, we can journey down heading southwest and cover everything else we missed. So, just zigzag up it down right here. I mean, by the time we finish this game, we'll be right at level 60, I think. Either 60 or like a couple levels into, into our early 60s. Actually got a couple of notes here. I didn't even realize that I was this short on the notes that I was reading. I think that's 
Yeah, that's everywhere. All right, so we got all of Morndale. All that's left really is some of this outskirtish area right here, but there's a checkpoint right there. So that being said, I think that's a pretty good stopping point for us, uncovering the rest of the map there. Sorry if that's boring that I go and like check out, you know, try to find the rest of the map, but like, I don't want to miss out on stuff, which I've clearly still missed out on a whole bunch of things. That being said, if you like the content and you want to see more Grim Dawn footage here on the channel as I make my way to Ultimate Level 100 and Shattered Realm and all that jazz, feel free to like and comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't. It really helps me out. And I'm really pleased whenever you guys comment. It really kind of makes my day looking at these comments and reading the feedback and giving more to look and explore in the I'm future. Really glad to see that being you said, you guys take care and I will catch you all in the next video. Later!